Hello everybody, this is From Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Daniel Goodemont and this is Christopher Drabs. What's going on guys? Um, our show is brought to you by the wonderful folks at Hockey Locker, 2002 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Get all your hockey apparel, figure skating apparel, referee apparel, inline skating apparel, your hockey fandom apparel, your everything you need. Hockey, it's in the title. It's everything you would want to put in your hockey locker. I agree, 100%. So... Uh, it's your one-stop shop for uh, all your hockey needs in the Milwaukee area. They're located at? 2002 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You can also call them at 414-800-7585. Or you can visit them at? HockeyLockerMilwaukee.com. Please go there and spend money. And when you spend money, tell them we sent you. They like money. As you can see under this, I am still wearing my Preds hat. I rock them proudly. But today, just not feeling showing my face. Kind of butchered the, a little bit. <laughs> not to mention, uh, yeah. No, it's not one of those I want to hide my face things yet. We're not 16 and 48 like the, some team in Detroit. Mm -hmm. All right, well, anyways, uh, the shots on goal weren't really a big factor. It was only like 38-32. Uh, can't really, well, the power play has always been an issue this year. The Preds were like one for six, which is horrible. And the Canucks, they were two for four. Uh, other than that, it was a even game. There was a lot of bogus calls that the referees made, and then there was a lot of calls that the referees should have made but didn't make. Um, the one thing I think we should add is there's more penalty minutes than game time. Yeah, there's a total of uh, 70 penalty minutes. There was uh, 33 penalty minutes for the Predators and 37 for the Canucks. 70 bleeping minutes. And the giveaways aren't, weren't really a big factor either. The Canucks only gave it away seven times, and the Predators only gave it away five times. So, I mean, it, it was an even game. It was just like somebody got lucky. Yeah, all right, well, let's start reading the stats, man. Do you all right, so scoring in the first. I'm going to take that off so people yeah, can hear me it. clearly. All right, so scoring in the first was Zach McGowan with his second. Uh, with an assist from Miller, his 34th, and Stecker, his 7th. Uh, then Brandon Sutter got his 7th from the famous Hockey Sutter family. Yeah. Um, and it's with, Sutter, not Suter. Um, with an assist from Patterson, his 33rd, by the way. Um, That's Elias Patterson, Emo's brother. Yeah, way better than his brother. Yeah, um, even though Emo was a nice person. Yep. Um, and then Quinn Hughes, his brother plays over there in New Jersey. Yep. Um, he had his 34th. That was on the power Wait, play. Quinn Hughes is Jack Hughes' brother? Yeah, there's three of them. Actually, yeah. I think they're Who's like the four of them. Jack or Quinn? Jack. Or, no, Quinn is. Quinn is older say, by... Then Jack just Quinn's, older, Quinn's older by two years. Yeah, Jack just got drafted. Ain't this uh, Jack's rookie year? Yeah. Okay. Uh, and that was on the power play. Then Jordy Ben scored his first with an assist from Gaudette, his... 16th and Roussel his fourth. Then Emil Pedersen scored in the second Elias. with his, or Elias <laughs> Pedersen. I could try, yeah, I got him to say email. <laughs> Elias Pedersen scored his 24th with an assist from Edler his 19th and Stecker his eighth. Then the Preds tried to mount a comeback. Yeah. Um, Craig Smith scored his 13th with an assist from Yossi his 41st and Yarncrock. Welcome back, Yarny. Um, we missed you. Yeah. Hit with his 16th. That was on the power play. Then uh, Mikel Granlin scored his 13th. Literally, I think it was like 58 seconds later. Yeah. Um, with an assist from Fabro, his 6th, and Benino, his 15th. Then it was all downhill. Yeah, JT Miller got the next goal. If this would actually work. JT Miller scored his 22nd with an assist from Quinn Hughes, his 35th. Oh, boy. And in the third period... Uh, Jake Vertanen scored his 16th with an assist from Quinn Hughes, his 36th, and Gaudet his 17th. So that was on the power play. Gaudet, not the one we're thinking of? No. Not Tyler? No. Okay. Spell and that would be it. Unfortunately, yeah, it was a 6-2 loss. Um, I was going to give you three stars of the game and do a little bit of a goalie rundown. Can't right. really fault the goalies. Nah, cause I'm All right, three the, stars yeah, of the game were JT Miller was the third star, Jacob Markstrom was the second star, and 
Quentin Hughes was the third, uh, first star. All right. Um, come on. All right. So starting the game was Pecorine. He stopped 13 to 17 with a point five six five a point seven five six save percentage. I'm not even gonna get into it because I know I'm gonna get a lot of um, crap for it. So what? Um, I was gonna protect packs and say. If you're not going to play defense in front of your goalie, you're not going to win. Yeah, it's not a P.E.K.K.A. problem. It's just a defense problem. They need to retool their entire defense. Because they didn't play defense in front of Soros either. Nope. Um, and then Soros stopped 13 to 15 with a .867. So neither goalie got their chance. Yeah, Pekka the, played uh, 20 minutes and 58 seconds and then Sarles played 39 minutes and 2 seconds. Um, For whatever it's worth, but yeah, without defense, you're just going to screw your goalies over. Uh, Jacob Markstrom stopped 36 of 38 with a point nine four seven. He definitely earned that first star. Yeah. Our referees were Garrett Rank and Kevin Pollock. Uh, same referees from Edmonton. Surprise, surprise. Yeah. Um... And then Darren Gibbs and Ryan Galloway were linesmen, uh, head coach of Nashville for now, before they start calling for his head, too, is John Hines. Um, and then head coach for Vancouver is Travis Green. Scratches scratches. scratches for Nashville were Yakov Trenning, Colin Blackwell, and Matt Irwin. Uh, scra- so the Admirals were scratched. Yeah, pretty much. And scratches for Vancouver was Galmue, Brisbois, and Tim Schaller. Um, up next for from Milwaukee to Nashville's podcast is an Admirals game against the Texas Stars. That is on Wednesday. is a winning Wednesday. Um, it's hockey. F- hockey is for everybody Wednesday. So, so come on up, people. Support the team. And um, if the Admirals win, you will receive a free ticket for the following Wednesday home game. Which is against the Iowa Wild on uh, February 19th. Yeah. So literally seven days from that game. So literally a week after it'll be. Yeah. yeah. So um, come on out. It's a fun atmosphere. Let's try to get as many people in that place as we can. Yep. Um. So in that time frame, between our game with Texas on Friday and well Wednesday. Game with them Saturday. I thought the Preds played on Friday. Nope. They have it reversed. Oh. Okay. Um. Anyway. Uh. The only move for the Texas Stars was Anthony Nellis was um, added from oh, Idaho Steelheads. Of the ECHL. Of the ECHL for them. That was it. Yeah. Other than that, if you want to see uh, more in-depth, uh, watch our... Uh... Actually, also they added Diego Cugliata. Cugliata? Yep, as well from the Idaho Steelheads. Yeah. So, they're running through some issues. Yeah, you can watch our last two uh, videos. To catch up on how they were doing. Yeah, you can see all their leading scores and whatnot if you watch your last two videos. Um, uh, regarding the Admirals, and I believe that Thursday on the 6th. So, watch our 6th and 7th day of February videos, and you will get our uh, info on the Texas Stars. Yeah. Um... Yeah, because they haven't played since they played us last on Saturday. Anyway, we do have, on a bright spot for our podcast, yep. we have 12 top fans. Who'd have thunk that far? We never even thought we'd have one top fan, let alone 12. That's great to hear, though. All right, so we want to say thank you to our two new top fans, uh, Brian Turner and Eddie Callister. Trust me, I'm trying. I If I butcher your names... Please uh, send us a message. We'll correct it. Yep, just send me send our page a voice recorded message of how to pronounce your name, and if I butcher it, I will perfect it. Yeah. Um, and then we have Tammy Tandu, uh, Monica Knudsen, uh, Barbara Bowman, uh, Amanda Havlick, uh, Linda Molnar. Uh, Scott Nalton, Brad Kincaid, Heidi Jean, Garrett Rees, we know Garrett pretty well, um, and Garrett Benedict. Yeah. 
it, it's great that we have all these top fans. And thank we you to this all movie. the people that have got us up to a thousand. We're now sitting at one thousand and thirty-seven uh, follows and nine hundred and fifty-two likes. We are growing, and let's keep these numbers up, man. I want to try to get the thousand likes, guys. We're really close. Yep, uh, we're trying to get there before the end of the season, but... At... We'll settle for a regular season next year. Yeah. But I'm sure if we share these videos in enough groups and get our name out there more, we'll get Also, uh, Florida Everblades fans, uh, Matt will be with you guys tomorrow. Yeah. Hey, did Matt post any Everblades stuff yesterday? He did it today because he kind of had studying and stuff. So yeah, but he at least got the footage from our, our coverage for yesterday's uh, victory. Yeah, he did a video. Yeah, because, uh, you know, the Everblades are one of our supporters, so we're trying to make sure we give their team as much uh, footage or as much coverage as we can. Yeah, we got a hockey team that likes our page. All right, so that is our video. Um, go check out our friend over there, our friends over there at Hockey Locker. Come on out on Wednesday and support uh, Wassa. Um, it is the Wisconsin Amputee Sled Hockey Association. Yep, Sled Hockey Association. Um, if you stick around after, they will teach you how to do it. Me um, and him, we plan on. We're gonna we're gonna take our chances. Um, yeah. I believe Matt's gonna film us doing this. So. Yeah, he has an injured foot, so I'm not gonna push him to do anything that he can't. So yeah, I hope his foot gets better. Plus, it's us knuckleheads that you really want to see get hurt. So yeah, right. <laughs> so if we get hurt, you guys can laugh at us. Yeah, and we can laugh at ourselves. Also, subscribe on YouTube. Click Give that bell. Little, uh, click the bell so you get notified whenever we uh, post a video. Also. If you guys want more Chicago Wolves videos, you kind of got to get that video up to about 400. Yeah, because we're gathering more info to talk. Like, uh, we have a story that we just uh, found today. I don't want to mention it yet, but... Nope, that's... Uh, that's, that's if you want another video, we need to get the views up. Come on, people, on YouTube, on Facebook, let's get it, let's get it going. All right, so this was from Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Daniel Goodman, and this is Christopher Drapes, and we will see you Wednesday. on Wednesday. At probably the, At the Panther Arena. Remember, at the Panther against. Arena, probably after um, on our podcast, and very sore. So knowing us, we're probably actually not going to have this, because I'm not going to want to mess with it. <laughs> yeah, right, after we have some fun learning how to sled hockey. Yep, we might actually... Oh, yeah, we we're are. We're going to post that video on our page. We're actually going to go live that day. Remember, we were telling people we were going to go. We're going live on Wednesday. Yeah, yeah. For the first time in a long time, we're going live on Wednesday. Um, but you're just going to have to wait a while for it. So, yeah. Because I want to do sled hockey. So. Yep. Um, so, we, like I said, see you guys on Wednesday. Uh, for your Predators fans, see you guys on Thursday. But we will have a double header with the Admirals and Wolves. On Thursday? Yep. There's a double. So the Admirals are playing on Wednesday and Thursday. What about Friday and Saturday this week? Friday they're off for Valentine's Day, and then they go, well, that's their travel day to Manitoba. Ah, so like 2 in the afternoon on Saturday. Oh, nope, 6. Wow. Um, but impressed. that uh, Monday of the 17th, they play at 2 in the afternoon. Okay. So. Well, we'll see you guys on uh, Wednesday. All right. Come on out to the Panther Arena. I hope to see you there. All right, later.